Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Russian Fishing 4 and as promised already for a couple of days uh, I'm going to show you guys the fastest way how you can level marine uh, skill I'm not sure it's applicable on the other skills but I think it's probably just the same uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, my info I'm going to show you guys the testing, I made a nice graphic too, and I'm going to give you guys a conclusion. So it's not that I'm going to say to you guys, this is what you need to do. I'm just going to explain how I come to my conclusions, because otherwise I know I will get a lot of comments from guys that still think that placebo things work. Uh, but most of them, they don't work. What I see about the info that I got, what I see about the testing that I did myself, there are so many things that goes around that don't have an impact on the, the skill, that it goes up or down. And that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video too. So what is the plan? I'm going to build it up. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got everything that I think and then at the end we got the conclusion so we got four slides that I got so we are going to start with the most important so where did I get the info from and what are my thoughts what was the thought process that I had so where did I get the info from very simple the video 75% marine there I already had like a very good view uh, what is happening with the skill leveling so I said in that video, I got now 75% on the marine skill and I got 3,100 fish. And I ask my viewers, how many fish do, I, do you got? Are you using light boat rods or not? And what, what was the conclusion that I saw was that everybody had almost the same amount of fish. So you can use a light boat rod, you can use a, a pilker, you can use other spots and other things, but at the end, they were very close to my number. So I had 3,100, there were guys that got a little bit more, there were guys that got a little bit less fish caught at 75% marine. Then, previous week, when I made my video about 90%, there was a guy that said to me, to level to 100%, you need 14,000 fish. He saw the data. Yesterday, I heard on the stream that it was between 14 and 16,000, without premium, that is. So that means that it's not an exact number. So And then I started to think. And then, when I read the premium info in the game, I understand what was happening. It's not the amount of fish that you need to catch. Yeah, it's of course an amount of fish that you need to catch. But it's not that it's an exact number. It's not that you got like 3000 fish and you got 75% marine. Because the numbers say something else. Otherwise everybody had the same amount of fish caught at a certain percentage. That's not true. It's a chance. So you got a chance uh, from the start. And that chance, every fish that you catch, you got a chance... Depending on the chance number, you get a point. 0 0.11 or 0.2 percentage. So that's how it works. It's even under premium. I will show you guys it because premium is saying you got a chance. So always remember that. But that's not really all because why are we getting less points if we go higher in the skill tree? That is because what I think that the chance is at the start on normal fish a lot higher. So I will show you guys in the graphic what I mean with it. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit my conclusion. So I got my info from the video 75% marine, a feedback comments. So what I told you guys just like that. Info on the premium in-game, we are going to have a look right away at it. Discord and my own experience. So what do I mean with the chance? You can le just read it here. So if you go to the game, and you just go to premium, it's over here. So here you can see what premium is doing. So here, increased chance of improving fishing and craft skill. So you can see it here. So fishing skills, the marine skill is a fishing skill. This increased the chance of improving. So it's a chance. Uh, so that means that we are talking about the chance and not about the uh, uh, amount of fish you caught. So this is increasing the chance. How does it work? I thought a long time about this too. I don't think it adds a percentage. Because if, for example, you start fishing and premium is giving like adds 10% more. 
why don't we get more points at the end of a skill? Because it's not an editable. Editable, is that right? Yeah, it's not something that they add. I think that the increased, what they mean here is, like, premium is boosting the base chance with 50%. And therefore, at the end, it's not a very big impact anymore. Because otherwise, you need to have a lot of more points in the higher skill percentage too. But that's not the case. So I think it works like this. So you got, at the start, 90% or something that you can get a skill point. And premium is boosting that with 50%. So it adds 50% of those 90. So that means at the start with premium, you get every fish, you will get a point. But at the end, let's say at after 90% in the skill, it's possible it's only 1%. So what does premium do? It, it uh, adds 90% of 1. And therefore, it's not doing that much at the end. Because otherwise it, it, it cannot work like that. If it was something that they had, let's say 50% more, we need to get like every two fish after 90% a skill point too. And then the happy hour was something strange. I'm not sure that the translation is right. But it also doubles the experience when you're catching a fish and gives a chance of improving the skill. They are not talking about increasing. They are talking really about the chance. I'm not sure what they mean with it. I thought a long time about it and I think it's possible that we got two times the chance to get a skill point. So first you got just the base with your premium or just the base on the fish and happy hour is going to generate one time a chance more. I don't think that you need to put them together because they are not saying that and gives a chance of improving skills so this is an extra chance it's a second chance so i think you got a chance just from the base and in happy hour you got a second chance too therefore sometimes i think that you can roll that high of a number but this is not improving the chance it's just a new chance that you get it's all over here so that was it guys now it's time to look at the testing the next part is the testing. So why is it important? Because I had a lot of info from guys that uh, thought the same like me. Uh, so they said to me, KP Shamino, how do you need to level stuff in this game? You just catch as many fish as possible. And if you can get a lot of trophies in it, you will get more points. That's something that I saw with leveling the marine skill too. I didn't saw anything besides premium that influence more points than just catching a lot of fish. And then on the other side, you got the guys that say uh, you need to get a new rig. Uh, the boat rods, they are leveling faster. Uh, if you change the lure, it's, uh, it's going to go faster too. If you change spots, it's going to faster too. And that's something that I didn't saw in the numbers. So uh, that's something that I tested it, other guys tested it too, and I think it's all placebo. I think there is a lot of placebo effects in this game, and that's normal, you always got that in fishing games, because people always think that with the things that they do, that they influence the outcome. But that's not always true. If you fish the entire day, and on that moment you change spot, and you get right away a point, does not mean that with changing the spot you get that point. And I can say that all those things that goes around are not true. I didn't see it in the testing, so I did it. So what is the testing here? You can see it for yourself. So I started at 92.5%. The first number is the amount of fish that I caught. The second number is the silver that I made. So I fished for the mackerel, for the sari. I fished in the deep holes with the very heavy setups. I fished with everything. And guess what at the end? The percentage was just the same. So sometimes I got a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but that's normal. But the chance is, is always in the same number. So you guys can see it here. So this is counting up. This is the amount of percentage that I earned for that amount of fish. Here you can see. So here it happened. So I changed here to a new fishing rig. Didn't do anything. Here I had a little bit more. Here I went to the deep holes, I fished for fish that were a little bit more uh, expensive, but I got here 200 fish too. So somewhere, I had a very good day, but if you see to the other numbers, this is three times this number. I had a little bit more, but not that much more to say 
it influenced the percentage. Here I went once again to a new rig, didn't do anything. So I can say on the hand of those numbers and what Guy said on the info, there is only one thing that is influencing your percentage and that's premium. All the other stuff is not doing anything. Of course, with premium, you got happy hour too. Happy hour is influenced too. But overall, you cannot boost it with anything else in this game. So that was the testing. Now it's time to show you guys the graphic. And what do I mean with that your percentage goes down and how you can understand it. The next part is the graphic. So I put in a graphic how the system works. So you guys first need to understand what all this stuff is, but then it, it becomes clear. So I put at the top, each fish got a base starting chance and at the start it's a lot higher. So at the start it's probably somewhere in the number 80 to 90% chance on every fish. Does not matter how big the fish is, how small the fish is, you got just a chance if you get a fish, it's a lot higher at the start. And goes down the higher the skill is. Uh, so the, the higher the skill gets, the less chance you get on a no on normal fish. Then the trophies, that's something different. So I start to look around for trophies, and what did I saw? I always thought that you always get a point for a trophy, uh, but that's not true. So it seems if you go further into the skill once again, trophy chance goes down too, but not that much as normal fish. Because I saw people with the skill 90% marine in videos getting a trophy and they didn't get a skill point anymore. Uh, so, uh, and it was not one guy because you can't think, okay, maybe they got 100%. I saw it on the stream too and it did not happen. So trophy fish start with a higher chance percentage, but goes down too. So you guys can see it very easy. So I put here a graphic. Uh, so here you can see 0%, 50%, 75,000%, 1,100%. This is the marine skill percentage. And here you can see I put the fish only two. It's not an exact number. I already told you guys that. So at 75%, you need to have 3,000 fish, more or less. Depends a little bit how much luck you got with your chance. And at 100%, you need to have 14 to 16,000 without premium. This is uh, with premium, this is without premium. So that can be okay because I got now 94.3 and I got 9,000 fish. I think with my testing and my calculations, I will be around 10,000 when I hit uh, 100%. So this is without premium. So what is going to happen? So you guys can see a normal fish is the blue line. So you start at a very big chance and it goes down the more that you go in the marine skill tree. So at the end, probably the less percentage you only get like a half of a percent or a percent that you are going to get a skill point. And then the trophy fish is going a lot slower down. It goes down, but not that much. Therefore, you can get at the end, if you even get the trophy, no points anymore. So it goes down too, but not that much. So at the end, or always, trophy fish, if you can target them, is the best source to get points. Uh, so that's a little bit what I want to say to you guys. So that's a little bit how I think it works. So everything is here. So you start with a lot of chance. The chance goes down with, with leveling up the marine skill. And somewhere that's logic. So you need to understand, I think, what they want to do here is... So in real life, if you're a very good fisherman, it's very hard to improve still. It's with sports too. If you play football and you're a very good footballer... At the end, it's very hard to improve still. But if you're a very bad fisherman or a very bad footballer, at the start, you learn the most. So you learn more and more at the start, but it slows down the better you get at something. And I think that they want to mimic that here. And that's what is happening. So now the, the end part of the video is the conclusion. And then we are done. Okay, guys, the last part is the conclusion. I put some, uh, some things here that I think are very important. So let's get started. The chance to get a skill point is a number in percentage. So you got a certain chance always on a fish that you caught. Premium adds a percentage to that number. I'm not sure it's adding. I think it's a multiplier. But what I know is that premium uh, gives you a lot of more points for less fish caught. 
those numbers, uh, the difference is very big. If I see guys that were on 75%, I had 3,000 fish, they had like five to 6,000 fish. Uh, so that's a lot of difference on the same number in marine skill. This percentage will go down the higher the skill percentage is. I just showed you guys that in the graphic. And then the next one is something that people always say, but I don't see the correlation and I don't understand it why it would boost the chance. So there is a bonus experience on a rod. For example, I use uh, one of those rods. It said 50% more experience. But the problem is that experience has nothing to do with the chance. Uh, mathematics, they are totally different uh, things. So, and I didn't saw any difference either. I used the 50% experience one, and I would think I will get a lot of more, uh, a lot of more percentage compared to a rot. My Ocean Queen that does not have the bonus. I didn't saw one difference. So I think that's a placebo effect. So I don't understand why experience will get you more chance. Because experience is a number that you put somewhere. But it's not going to make the chance more. Because the chance is 1 or 5%. What is 1000 experience going to do with your chance? Nothing. I think that's a placebo. Uh, I cannot confirm that. Maybe there are people that can say why it's giving more chance on the skills, but I cannot confirm that. The next one, rigs don't matter. No, they don't matter. Changing spots don't matter. Indeed, the testing says they, it does not matter. Just the amount of fish you ca catch matters. And that's true. It's simply the amount of fish you catch. Uh, the faster you catch fish, the more skill points you will get. Trophy gives a higher chance percentage on getting a skill. That's true. Everybody knows that, but it goes down. At the start, you probably will get for every trophy 0.2 percentage. If you go higher, you will get sometimes uh, no skill anymore. Uh, so that's true. Premium is the only method to level faster. That's true. And then the next one is the most important. And I think that you can put it on, on every skill. Best way to level is using the method that catch the most fish and get the most trophies. So that's the only thing that you need to do. So get, get the setup. And if you're catching non-stop fish, you will level up the fastest way. That's my conclusion. So therefore, the people that are now 100% on marine skill leveling, and I'm almost at 75 too. What did we do most of the time? We got premium and we just fished the entire time for very small fish. And that's what you need to do. Uh, and guys said to me, they did it in the past too, the roach, the trophy roach was a very good farm, I think, for float fishing or bottom fishing. So that's what you need to do. The only thing that you need to do and all the other stuff that you hear going around is not true. As many fish you can go in bulk size, that's what you need to do. And if you can get sometimes a trophy, that's the best method. That was the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of work, but I wanted to make a good video because there is a lot of bad information going around. And I hope that you guys now understand how it works. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.